Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 16th of December. Uh, on this day, 10 years ago, 11 people were killed by a horrible EF4 tornado in the southern and eastern part of Tuscaloosa. Uh, check the blog and you can see the live coverage. That was the day we captured that live on the uh, tower cam. Stayed on the air for 18 minutes with that. Pretty, uh, pretty riveting stuff. But uh, nothing like that today, although it's uh, much warmer and a bit balmy out there compared to yesterday. Let's look at some of the sky cam shots and uh, we'll start with uh, Tuscaloosa. They're sitting in the mid-50s this morning. Yesterday, they were sitting around freezing. So how about that for an overnight warm-up? Temperatures, as expected, went the wrong way. They've been rising all night. Demopolis, by golly, they're sitting at 59. Goodness, uh, they're, they're going to go in the 60s today. And even Gadsden's above freezing. Uh, that's You know, we, we, if you read what I write, I, I often talk about it's so hard to scour out that cold air in, in northeast Alabama in a situation like this, and clearly it's the, still the cold spot. Uh, the sky came up there showing 37, but again, uh, no icing issues, and today will be a nice calm day and wet at times, but nothing too bad. The uh, flow has gone zonal as the pattern is de-amplified, and uh, down below that you can see the warm front clearly pushing out of the state. Still cold over in Georgia, uh, where they still could see some icing problems this morning. In Atlanta and points north, but uh, and look at the difference there between Gadsden and Anniston. Uh, down in the lower spot at the airport, there the the Gadsden airport sitting at 34, but you go down to Anniston, they've got 51. So that's why it's slightly hard to forecast temperatures here sometimes. Uh, Birmingham 54, Tuscaloosa 55. And around the nation, you can see that nice tongue of warmer air coming up from the southwest. Temperatures are uh, downright balmy down in South Mississippi and Louisiana. They're in the 60s this morning, but still awfully cold up north. In fact, it looks like it's about minus 4 at International Falls, Minnesota. And that front's going to meander back and forth. It's going to drop south again tomorrow so we get back in cooler air. On the watch warning map, the uh, system that brought the freezing rain problems to Alabama yesterday, producing issues today to the northeast of here. Uh, some of the harder-hit areas would include... Uh, uh, Louisville and Cincinnati, much of West Virginia, uh, over into Virginia, places like Lynchburg and Richmond. And they've got snow and ice, a lot of snow up there in the deeper cold air. Uh, some folks up there getting over uh, five to seven inches. I do the weather in uh, Lynchburg, and uh, we're forecasting uh, six inches for them today. Here's the watch warning map precipitation. Look at the west. Boy, that's awfully wet out there. It's at 9.5 inches, not too far from Sacramento. And around here, rain uh, number, uh, rain totals, uh, oh, about quarter to one half inch. This is valid through Monday evening of next week. And sure enough, the the idea of a Gulf low is kind of fading for uh, Friday night and Saturdays. We'll see. Not totally off the table yet. Let's look at the uh, modeling. This is the 06 ZGFS at uh, noon today. Zonal flow down below that. A moist air mass, uh, inevitably we think we will see some uh, rain at times, certainly not going to rain all day long. In fact, there's the uh, radar as of 5.05 this morning, not much out there. And we'll be up there close to 60 today. But uh, tomorrow the uh, front uh, comes back south. There's the uh, upper air look, and you can see a short wave to the west. And down below that, uh, I don't think it rains a lot, but on the other hand, it looks like it'll be kind of a cloudy day, and the numbers keep coming down. Both the GFS and the NAM have a high of only 46, and we'll start the day pretty close to freezing, so we'll have to watch out for any uh, freezing drizzle in spots early tomorrow morning. That might be a surprise. Uh, it shouldn't be anything widespread or significant, but again, a chilly, cloudy-ish day. Maybe the sun peaks out at times, but again, uh, 46 is the high. And we go to Saturday, and look at that. The GFS just uh, kind of fizzling out that Gulf low idea, and it shows us dry as a bone on Saturday. Um, spitting out a high of 50, clouds around, but hardly any rain. And we'll check the uh, NAM. This is at uh, noon on Saturday. Now, it's got a surface low. It's weaker and farther south, and it's got the rain south of Montgomery. 
And uh, traditionally in a situation like this, I think that low will form, and I think the NAM has got the right idea. I do think there will be some rain there, but it sure looks like the bulk of it will be over South Alabama. It could be as far north as Interstate 20, and if it is, we'll have to watch for any snowflake potential. But certainly at this point, uh, neither model really bullish on rain here Saturday. And the RPM, forget about it. This is uh, noon Saturday. It's dry as a bone. Uh, so we'll kind of back off on the rain chances, maybe mention a little light rain possible, but the better chance down in South Alabama. We'll go to uh, Saturday night, back to the GFS. Dry, Sunday, dry. And not as cold in that we don't have that well-developed low running up the Atlantic seaboard. That would suggest a high closer to 50. Now, we've got low 40s, assuming there was going to be a deep surface low developed. Here. So let's, let's look at the 12Z runs here, but certainly... This looks like our uh, Gulf storm over the weekend might be a no-show. And Monday of next week, starting Christmas week. Better start your Christmas shopping. At least I better start my Christmas shopping. I'm a last-minute guy. Uh, it looks dry. Seasonal temperatures. There's Tuesday. Look at the disturbance up north. and uh, That might squeeze out a few sprinkles or maybe a bit of light rain, but probably no big deal. And then on Wednesday, in the wake of that, we cool off a little bit, not much. Highs may be dropping in the upper 40s. And there's Thursday, Christmas Eve, Eve. Another impulse coming at us. A little light rain off to the west. And then on uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th, the trough begins to reform in the east. And it starts to turn colder again. Pretty good northerly flow. You know, nothing super-duper cold there. It looks kind of cloudy-ish and Maybe a sprinkle or a flurry somewhere. And then on Christmas Day, Saturday, December 25th, looks cold and dry. A 1,032 millibar high. And, of course, we've seen a lot of different looks out here in terms of the depth and the intensity of the cold air. And we don't know that yet. Um, you know, technically, to get within our seven-day window, we have to wait until Saturday. But by tomorrow, we'll have a pretty good idea. But it certainly looks more and more like Christmas Day will be cold and dry. Now, let's check New Year's Eve. What do you say? Oh, goodness. We've gone from uh, cold and ice to severe weather. Look at that thing. A bowling ball in the Plain States and a 992 millibar surface low at Tulsa with a major tornado outbreak possibly to the south of that. And then uh, that night, the surface low deepens even more up towards St. Louis. And uh, that would suggest a major severe weather outbreak New Year's Eve. But you know what this is. Let's all say it together. Voodoo. That will change with the next run and vanish. Uh, more than likely. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.